Hi, I'm Nicholas Abbott and today I'm going to be showing you a great technique on how to get a GHD kill. The problem with GHD kills is a lot of people are damaging their hair, drying their hair out, and we're going to be showing you the right way to do it. Now, if you've got one of these guys, these lobby cards, which are really cool, um, you can bring this in, show it to me, uh, I will give you a one-to-one -one tutorial on how to achieve this look that we're going to give you today. Okay, first things first you want to do is section the hair. Get this out of the way because you don't really need this right now. And you want to work with just the back panel, first of all. You want to get yourself some grips. I would like that, I like this, they're absolutely fine. You can pick them up most anywhere. Get yourself a comb, pintail comb, something like that. And section about two inches each section. Each section doesn't need to be any bigger than that. If it's any bigger than that, it's just going to make it hard work for the straighteners to do what they're going to do. So take this section, grip this out of the way. Okay. So you're just working with this piece of hair here. I'm going to use a GHD heat protector. This is essential for when you're curling your hair. You really, really need this. Uh, you don't want to apply it too heavily either. You, you really just want a light mist going over it. You don't want to make the hair wet. Take your first section, about an inch wide, two inches wide. Go with your straighteners, close down, turn once, and you slowly pull. Take the time with this, the quicker you go, the worse the curl will come out. When you get to the end, just soften the ends by turning it around slightly and let them drop down. Don't pull it out with your fingers because you're just going to pull your, your curl out. Take your next section and repeat the process. Okay, you're onto your next section now, another inch gap, straight the way across, right the way to the other side, so ear to ear. Straighteners go in, nice and high, turn and pull. Drag right the way through to the end. And then you get your lovely curl. Okay, we're gonna do some back combing now. You wanna use the smaller part of the comb. It's got two sides, one large, one small. Use the smaller side. I'm just going underneath and we're lifting. Pulling down, pulling down. You don't want loads in there, just a wee bit. All the way through and you start seeing a bit of height there. See that's lifted slightly. So back here we're taking your sections, or that part. Now you don't want to get your GHDs right into the root here. You go in with your spray again, one bit of light mist. Straight as go in, down, turn once, and pull. Right, okay, we've got to the end of our curl. We've dragged the root at the top here, so we sort of pulled it outside, so we didn't go as close to the root here. We've got all our curls in, it's looking really nice, but we want to secure it in there. So I'm going for some anti-frizz first of all. This will stop it from frizzing, allowing the damp to get in there. So you've got a good shape. And let the hairspray do all the hard work. 